Hello guys, so we are now at Amsterdam uh, conference in Amsterdam and it's uh, uh, devoted to Polkadot ecosystem and we met here with Dan Risse who is vice president of uh, Akala network and uh, Kurara networks. Uh, nice to meet you here Dan. Thank you, good to see you. So can you tell us about your journey in crypto? How did you get into the industry? Yeah, I've been uh, working at Akala now for a little over a year leading the growth team. Um, joined the Kala after coming from the Web3 Foundation where I worked on the launches of Polkadot and Kusama. So mm -hmm. kind of the next natural step was to move up from the kind of the base layer to the parachain level. Um, and then I've been in crypto now for about a little over four years total um, and then came from the pharmaceutical industry actually. So oh, that's interesting. Um, big kind <laughs> of big left switch. turn. Yeah, exactly. And uh, was, uh, so you have been always in Polkadot ecosystem? Um, my first project was called WanChain. It was uh, one of the interoperability projects. So I was always kind of interested in how we would connect blockchains together. Um, and that's what led me to Polkadot because it was another kind of interoperability communication mm -hmm. protocol. Um, but yeah, been, I'm kind of, I've, I've been in the Polkadot ecosystem for a while now and it's kind of what I'm focusing on for most likely the rest of my career. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday you had a speech on uh, Polkadot's uh, stablecoin, AUSD. Yep. Can you tell more about uh, it and why do we need uh, some more stablecoins when there are already uh, Tesla, Terra stablecoin, so many others? Yeah, USDC. good question. So um, AUSD is built um, with Substrate, which is the framework you use to build blockchains on Polkadot. So mm -hmm. it's native to the Polkadot ecosystem. That's really important because that means that it can be natively transferred from one parachain or one blockchain to another without bridges and without mm -hmm. having to trust anyone. So trustlessly transferring stablecoins be between all 100 parachains on Polkadot is what we're able to offer. Mm -hmm. And then AUSD will work with other, other stablecoins in the ecosystem as well. So AUSD at, at its core is an over-collateralized stablecoin, so we chose this model similar to the die model just because it's kind of reliable and proven and safe i mean this is the stable coin that will be kind of serving all of the polka dot and kusama mm -hmm. ecosystem and uh, there was launched as well 250 million funds supported by different vcs uh, pantera digital currency group yep. and uh, you will invest into projects uh, applying to AUSD. can you uh, tell yeah. more about this yeah, exactly. So it was uh, 10 parachain teams as well as Akala mm -hmm. kind of teamed up with about 30 funds that you, like you mentioned. And we're looking to invest in teams building applications on any parachain on Polkadot and Kusama who is building around AUSD. So this could be AUSD yield, like a mm -hmm. money market or a DEX, um, or a AUSD utility, which is like a, maybe payments or a marketplace. So uh, we're working with these other teams to invest in any project like this regardless of if it's on Akala or not. Um, so this just launched about a month ago. We've already mm -hmm. had over 50 applicants and are starting to do the first rounds of fundraising for some of these teams. So it's been exciting. Oh, that's great. And yeah. uh, about what type of projects are you most excited? Um, I'm most excited about money markets um, mm -hmm. and DEXs, like, like I mentioned both. So these go kind of hand in hand and are kind of critical components to building out Mm -hmm. um, a healthy DeFi ecosystem. So excited to see teams coming with um, money markets, maybe with a little bit of a twist or like what, mm -hmm. what are they doing differently than just taking a fork from other chains? Um, that's kind of what we're most excited about right now. And uh, do you think the future is multi-chain or not? Or are you bullish only on Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems? No, so we recently just also announced we're joining the wormhole bridge. So mm -hmm. this, is, this will connect Akala um, to seven, right now seven, it's a growing list, but um, uh, blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, Terra, Polygon, Avalanche, and others. So definitely a believer in the Polkadot ecosystem, but also a believer in multi-chain outside of Polkadot. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool to see all these teams are really starting to work together on building products, building multi-chain applications. So this is just kind of scratching the surface as far as all the all the applications that are going to be built, be built um, cross chain. And you work as well now quite closely with uh, Terra uh, blockchain, with Terra ecosystem, and partners uh, to, uh, with Anchor. Yep. So why do you think that this partnership is beneficial, and how do you cooperate? Yeah, so with Terra, they're in the same kind of business as we are with decentralized stablecoin at their core. So 
We have our decentralized stablecoin serving the Polkadot ecosystem, and they have theirs from the Terra ecosystem. So the first thing we're working with um, them on through Wormhole is bringing um, staking derivatives, so LDOT and LKSM, to Anchor, so people mm -hmm. can use that as collateral. Um, and then Terra, uh, Anchor will also be coming over to Akala, building up pools of UST and AUSD for um, efficient trading there. And then there's a lot, a lot of other kind of integrations and collaborations where we're planning that just haven't kind of been, been announced quite yet. So a, a lot going to happen with Anchor. So I'm excited for that one. And how do you see the development of DeFi? How do you see DeFi maybe in five years? That's a tough, <laughs> that's a tough <laughs> one. But uh, I think kind of going back to what we were just talking about, multi-chain, uh, natively multi-chain dApps. So taking the concept of a dApp now where you just have one application on one blockchain and that's mm -hmm. all it's interacting with, getting to, I think five years from now, you'll have like a website or a UI or an app that a user will use, but behind the scenes, it's actually plugging into multiple blockchains mm -hmm. doing different functionality. So you could have like identity coming from an identity blockchain, mm -hmm. you could have ERC 20s coming from an Ethereum compatible chain and then maybe a stable coin from Akala. So I think that's mm -hmm. where things are going is like natively multi-chain, but taking abstracting that away from the user and making it simple for them to use. And uh, do you have any favorite altcoin picks? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like to do picks. Um, obviously a big fan of Polkadot and Kusama. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just keep an eye on the, the Polkadot DeFi space because now that Polkadot's finally kind of shipping its last piece of technology called XCM or cross consensus mm -hmm. messaging, all this Polkadot DeFi um, kind of ecosystem is about to get started. So looking forward to that. Okay, and can you share some upcoming plans uh, for uh, Akala and Kurara? Yeah. So the like, the big things coming up are we're launching Wormhole. Um, actually, this is being announced in the talk that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. um, Wormhole is launching next week, so that's the first. Um, deployment in our EVM environment on Karura. Um, then we'll roll that out to the initial set of dApps to launch on Karura, and then the EVM will launch publicly, which means any application can come in and permissionlessly launch um, on Karura. The same kind of path we'll take on the Akala side, opening up the EVM. Um, so I'm excited about all the EVM and getting like applications starting to launch and be able to use AUSD quite a bit more. Great, we'll follow some more updates. Yeah. And I also have one question. Uh, you know, it's a Polkadot conference, but we don't see the founder of Polkadot, we don't see Gavin Wood. Uh, what's up with him? We haven't seen him for three years already. Yeah. On crypto ones. It's a great question. He's a, he's a founder that actually is a coder. So he is actually building Polkadot a lot of the times when he's not at conferences. He's not one of these YouTube founders who just who just sits on videos all day. He's he's coding as much or more than all the developers um, at Parity and, and working on Polkadot. So one reason why I kind of followed Gavin is he's a true builder. Um, so I think that's what that's where he is. He's busy busy building Polkadot. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Yep.